Yo, yo, yo. Rumor have it. 2017, Dipset Reunion, boy, they wasn't paying no Skrilla Ridge. You hear me? When I first heard the story, nigga told me Cam only got paid 3500 Once I did my research a little bit more, because I didn't want to be spreading motherfucking lies and rumors and adding on to the rumors and shit, I found out that he got 6500 Jewels and them got a, Jewels and Jim got a G a piece, and Freaky Zeke got 500 You dig? Now everybody out there probably like, damn, why they getting paid so little and shit? That's because these niggas ain't been together and doing too many shows like that, for real, for real. And niggas don't be motherfucking having faith in the Dipset reunion, because remember like 10 years ago, they pulled the guy back together, they did the little mixtape and all that, they made the little salute songs and all that, you dig? But then you ain't really hear too much shit from them, niggas start beefing again and all that shit, you dig? So niggas hoping that ain't happening, you feel me? And plus niggas gotta climb that ladder again, it's a whole new generation now. Niggas my age fuck with them niggas. We happy and shit they getting back together. But these little young niggas the tight past niggas and shit. You did, you got to win these niggas over, man. You got to be some sipping some lean and popping some pills or something. For these little niggas to fuck with you, throw some extra tight jeans on or something. Get a, you know what I mean, you know? Y'all niggas definitely with the trendsetters of our generation. I don't even think you niggas wanna dress like that. So hopefully y'all can bring the trend back and niggas can start following y'all again. You know what I mean? And start looking like something again. You dig? I don't know. I ain't hating on the young boys, though. They got their own little swag. That's just ain't my style and shit. But I don't want to sound like no bit of old nigga. But yeah, man. If I was gymming them, I'd have been like, yo, nigga, hey, Cam, if you getting 6,500, yo, you gonna have to break the nigga a little bit more bread off, baby boy. Especially like Jim, Jim the top boy. Fuck that. Get my man like 3,000, 3,500 or something, you dig? I'd have been on Cam Top like, hey, yo, you gonna have to slide me a G about that 6,500. You young boy on us right now. How the fuck you get damn near 7,000 now? I'm out of your G. But that's for these niggas, because these niggas famous and rich and all that shit. Let a nigga like me get a fit me off of me 500 for a show. I'm on it. Get a fit Because when you motherfucking get paid for something you love to do and something you do, you a professional. Regardless of how much it is, if I'm getting paid for my motherfucking music to entertain people, that means I'm a professional. Keep putting in work, keep putting in work, keep putting in work until your motherfucking status go up and your motherfucking money gonna go up and you ask for more, you dig? But yeah, man. So the moral of this story is, don't never think you too Hollywood and don't never have pride in you to get that paper. Get the feel me? These niggas knew, get the feel me? They clout wanting like it used to be. It can get back to that. Get a feel me, but uh, yeah. They gave my man Freaky 500, like my man ain't about that life. Freaky should've got a G. Jewel should've got 25. Motherfucking Jones should've got three. 35 and then, get a feel me? Something like that. Something got again. I mean, it was 10,000 they got paid or whatever they say, but you know at the lowest expense, they probably had to pay somebody else off. Cam pick the out or do that add up to 10,000, get a feel me? Let me see, 75, 85, they still a G miss. That's what I'm saying, so they must have paid the manager nigga or something, I don't know. You know feel me? But uh, uh, yeah man, I just had to clear that shit up. You know your boy OG Shizzy Browns ain't gonna put the bone out on a nigga. Especially my dip set, they my niggas. Niggas better not be lying and putting that bone out on my niggas like that. Cause the shit will go down, you know Jones catch your ass on the block with all them buzz. He gonna fuck you up, he known for fucking the Lord niggas up. That be talking shit about it. So don't, I ain't one of them. I'm clearing this shit up right now. That was a rumor. Or at least that's what it sound like. You know what I mean? That's what it said. So you know what I mean? Don't kill a message. It's your boy OG Shizzy Browns. And you dig? I'm outy. I'm outy out, out, out. You dig me? Y'all better stop playing with the diplomats like that. Especially Jones. You dig? Yo, 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 it's your boy OG Shizzy motherfucking Browns, and then y'all already know what this is. It's another Shizzy Lit Podcast, ye dee. We gonna get straight to it, and I'ma take y'all over to Zanzania and shit, ye dee. Cause your boy give you all kinds of shit. Matter of fact, I fucked that joint up, but you know I'm a real nigga. I ain't even acting this shit out. I'ma take y'all to Tanzania and shit. They got that malaria problem over there. You know, mosquitoes over there acting the motherfucking food. The big husky joints look like mutants and shit. Carrying the malaria shit all crazy, fucking up the crops and all that shit. Or you know it's 2017 and all that, so the technology 
it mean they using the technology and the drones and the smartphones together? It mean, you know, motherfucking use the drones to fly over the motherfucking areas and shit of the crops and shit, try to find targeted areas and all that shit where the motherfucking mosquitoes be breeding at and try to stop the motherfuckers in their tracks, yeah, they, cause they fucking up that grub over there, you dig? So they say, uh, the motherfucking whales, Asbury's Twift University in Tanzania, Zanzibar, Malaria Elimination Program. You know, feel me? That's what it's called, the shit. That was a long ass title. You yeah, dig? But it sum it up. You know, I mean, they're using the technology for good. Drones and smartphones and shit. You fly the drones over the little spaces and shit, and you can see where you're going at with the smartphone so you can target the places more better. Yeah, dude. You know, I'm a hood nigga, so I don't know all that technical talk and shit. I break it down for you so you can understand that shit. You dig? Y'all already know how I use the drones on the smartphone and shit, but now they just using that shit on some widespread shit. You know what I mean? Over there in Tanzania and shit. You dig? We over here in the hood, so we ain't worrying about all that shit. You feel me? But you mean, you know, that shit can make it over here. So, you know, hopefully that technology shit, they get it together, start spraying it down over there, killing the motherfucking mosquitoes, all that blurry shit. That shit ain't never been cool and all that. You know it's your boy OG Shizzy Browser, hint you from a hood perspective on any topic. Y'all know how I get down, I don't give a fuck. I talk about what I talk about because I'm a real nigga. I felt as though y'all needed to know that shit. Y'all like the drones and the smartphones. Y'all can't live without the smartphones and shit. And everybody getting on these drones now and all that shit. So they using that shit to help a motherfucker out. You know what I mean? Crops and shit over there can probably make it over here. We don't want no problems. You know what I mean? There's enough shit over here. You know what I mean? So it's your boy OG Shizzy Browns and you dig. Spitting all that good old game. I'ma highlight at y'all later on about that shit though. I'ma keep y'all updated with that because I'ma definitely do my research on that. You dig? Is your motherfucking bizoy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, you know how you judging, nigga. I done did this on the first season of that shizzy lit podcast and shit, you know. But I come through and update shit and all that. You to feel me? If I feel it, though, I still need to touch on it a little bit more. I get more in depth into a situation, you I ain't too good to come back to a subject and all that. It's your boy, OG Shizzy Brown. That's how we get down. I don't play around with you clowns. You to feel me? I get down with the real ones that shoot rounds, you feel me? Any motherfucking way, get straight to it. You know, I mean, they just be trying to put the bone out on old shit and browns so like I ain't no real loyal nigga and shit. And you know the rules out here in the hood. You ain't gonna fuck none of your homeboys, bitches. You'll fuck a nigga that you don't fuck with, bitch. You know, feel me? Ain't that the rule? You know what I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? If you fuck with all your day one niggas from 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 years ago, you know, feel me? Niggas got A1 shit to say about you. Niggas ain't saying nothing bad about you and shit. Niggas ain't putting no bone out on you. Like, this is an A1 nigga, a real nigga. You know, feel me? Been around niggas, bitches, and all that shit. Niggas, bitches don't come back and say nothing bad, foul about a nigga. They fuck with me. Because <laughs> they say I'm one of the real niggas that be out to help a homeboy out for real. I ain't just saying that shit. I ain't trying to win no Oscar, no Grammys and shit for acting and all that. I'm a real nigga. You know, feel me? If I claim you as my bro or my cousin or my man, you know, feel me? I'm gonna play that shit accordingly. You ain't gotta worry about none of that shit. I'm gonna fit all the checklists and shit. You know what I mean? You come across some new niggas and shit, and these niggas don't even live on the same foundation or nothing you live on. So, how the fuck are these niggas even gonna carry it or be on the same motherfucking mind level as you? These niggas on some whole different thought process now in the new generation. You know, feel me? When I was coming up, if that's your man, if your man introduced you to a motherfucking chick as your chick, all right, now you my cousin or you my sister. Depends on how close I am with the nigga and shit. You ever gonna be my cousin, you can graduate to be my sister. Depends on what me and your man do. Shit. You know feel me? How our relationship growing or whatever. You know feel me? So you straight married to the mom when you fuck with me. You know feel me? You automatically my people. I could have seen you... 10 years straight ain't say shit to you. If you fuck with one of my niggas, you married to the mom now. You now, you got a cousin or a brother. So if I see anything going on, I'ma hold that shit down. And that nigga hear about it later after I finish handling that shit. That's what a real nigga do. You know, feel me? These niggas now, they don't even want your homeboys talking to the bitches and shit. You know, feel me? Like, 
like the niggas show sure enough. Try and holler at your bitch. They let you see how they feel about you though. You know what I'm saying? I done been through all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I done been on the other side. When niggas done try to holler at my bitch, or niggas done hit one of my bitches and all that shit, guess what? They steal my niggas. Never fall out over no bitches. I never fall out over no bitches. That's some clown shit. You know what I'm saying? Bitches be there. Niggas be there for years. A bitch be there for six months a year. And you let the bitch fall, let you fall out with your niggas. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that ride for you. That's the problem with niggas. Niggas don't even get killed over paper these days. Niggas be getting killed over bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't be understanding this shit. Shit ain't right out here in the, in the motherfucking 2017. You know what I'm saying? So I'm back on the solo dolo from state to state. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't trust your boy, obviously. The motherfuckers be thinking I be trying to hit their bitch. I don't even be worrying about these bitches, you know what I mean? I always did good with the bitches and shit, you know what I mean? I ain't never had no problem with the bitches. Even back in the 80s, the 90s, I ain't never had no problem getting the bitch. So why the fuck I gotta try to fuck niggas I fuck with bitch and fuck that up? Like, I know how niggas be about they bitches, so why would I even try and go there? Like, this shit be going on way... That's one of the first stories in the Bible, you know what I mean? One of the, one of the first three, four stories in the Bible. A nigga brother killed you. Yo, killed his own brother over a bitch. Like, come on, man. It's been, it been going on since then. Like, come on, man. So why would I even do that? You know what I mean? But I just keep forgetting niggas ain't out my generation. Niggas don't carry it like I carry. Niggas don't carry it like when your man stamp a bitch as his girl. All right. Now that chick married to the mob now. You know what I feel me? Now she got hella brothers and cousins and shit that's going to ride for her. You know what I feel me? Nigga don't want you to talk to her. Nigga don't want you to do shit like you know, feel me? Well, you showing me how you feel about me, and you showing me how much you trust your bitch. Because you definitely don't trust your bitch. And if I was your man, you should know for a fact you ain't got shit to worry about, you dig? But you know how I be. That shit ain't like a bitch. You can't even get mad at niggas out here and shit. You just got to realize that niggas ain't like you. You know, feel me? Niggas throw that real shit around. You know, feel me? But when it come to it, you know, feel me? That'll show how real you is right there. How you carry about a bitch. You know, feel me? You cut your niggas off for a bitch, you know what I mean? You be ready to kill a nigga over a bitch when you know this bitch don't give a fuck about you and shit. The bitch talk dirty to you in the crib. All real niggas go through that shit. All real niggas, toughy shit on the block, get disrespected by they bitch in the crib. That shit goes on. That's the only motherfuckers you let disrespect, but at the same time when you ain't around, these bitches don't be talking good about you. You know what I mean? No matter how good you don't, you know what I mean? Y'all niggas be trusting these bitches out here like that, like show sure up. Trusting these bitches, putting your all in these bitches, be devastated when the bitch fuck another nigga. Well, you hear your story coming back, cause the bitch done went and told the story. Yeah, that nigga ain't shit, I don't fuck with that nigga. He be out here, she man, fuck that shit, man. You know feel me? Y'all niggas just disappoint me out here. You know feel me? A lot of niggas. I ain't talking about no specific niggas. Y'all niggas know who the fuck y'all is. The niggas that is doing it. But I ain't talking about nobody specific. I see that shit all around. Not even just personally. I see that shit happening all around. Every day. You know feel me? But it don't be about no paper though. I don't hear niggas arguing about paper. What's going on? Niggas be mad back and forth about bitches. These bitches don't give a fuck about none of you niggas that's arguing back and forth. She got a whole nother nigga that don't give a fuck what she do. And that's the nigga she running around behind the mouth. She ain't paying none of you niggas no more. You know what I'm I be trying to put niggas up on motherfucking game. And I'm definitely not motherfucking proving my loyalty to nobody. If niggas don't know that shit, and this go for anybody. If niggas motherfucking doubting your loyalty and, and try to make you prove your loyalty like... Like, you ain't already showed that shit. It's them. It ain't you. You know feel me? You're a real nigga. Real niggas stand alone. They don't be a lot of real niggas. It be a big-ass crowd of fake phony niggas, though. You know feel me? Yeah, man. Real shit. You know what I mean? Niggas can't even get mad. The truth, just fuck that. Don't even get mad about the truth. You know what I mean? Fuck that. Niggas, no. You know what I mean? Come on, yo. Niggas done me dirty about bitches. I don't even give a fuck about them bitches. Yo, that what my bitch. It's just that something. You know, feel me? That what my bitch. We come from the herb, you know, feel me? We don't give a fuck about them bitches like that, you know, feel me? Oh, you might hurt my feelings a little bit. I'm going to go fuck 30 bitches. I'm going to go fuck your cousin and all that shit, bitch. I ain't going to turn on my niggas, though. Fuck you, man. Y'all niggas crazy, man. There's a few chicks that don't even get down like that, so we ain't talking about all that. I always want to make sure I let y'all know that. When I say bitches, ladies, I ain't talking about all y'all. I know all y'all ain't bitches, you know, feel me? 
But there's some bitches out there. 98.9% of these bitches is bitches. There's a small finger full of real women out here that still got respect for themselves. You the feel me? And ain't chasing after the motherfucking money, gold digging, worrying about Instagram, fame, and all that kind of shit. Real shit. They still take care of their motherfucking kids and got some motherfucking morals and principles and shit. To make a thug nigga that be out there playing and pimping and shit want to change his situation. You the feel me? He don't even treat her like he treat none of them bitches out there. He got total utmost respect. You the feel me? Don't lie to the bitch. The bitch know what she doing. You the feel me? You only call her bitch when she ain't around. You don't do that shit in her face. Like the other bitches get the yeah, come on man. You get what you get. You get what you get shot. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? So yeah. That's all it be. You know your boy shit, you brown to keep that shit real. I don't give a fuck. I ain't saying nothing. I ain't on no tough shit. I'm on some real shit. Niggas feel how the fuck they want to feel. Real is real, man. Fuck that. You know what I'm I give the fuck about none of these bitches. They ain't my motherfucking family, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no 100% trust and they ain't not one of these bitches out of chance. You dig me. I'm waiting for one of them to prove me wrong, but nah. I ain't saying it yet. You dig but yeah, though. It's your boy OG Shizzy Browns and this shit. Y'all better start peeping this motherfucking game I be dishing the fuck out and shit. You know what I mean? I'm about to write that motherfucking Shizzy Lit advice book or something. You know what I mean? An e-book it or something. Because y'all motherfuckers don't read books. Put that shit on e-books. It's free. So y'all can have it on the smartphone. Read a page a day. You know what I mean? Keep the haters away. You dig any motherfucker away. Y'all tune into all my motherfucking Shizzy Lit podcasts and shit. You dig? If you a fake nigga, fuck you. I don't even want you listening to my shit. You dig? Don't like my shit. Don't comment on my shit or nothing. You sucker ass niggas. But all you real niggas and you real females out there, you dig? And all you thottery bottery bitches, cause you know I keep my shit ratchet too. You can still learn shit. It's your boy OG Shizzy Browns and Shizzy Lip Podcast. I'm out. You dig? <laughs>